Hey guys and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to be furnishing this dark academia apartment and you guys I am so excited because I've wanted to do this style for a while and actually between both of my channels I've never done it and I think it's because it's a bit intimidating. It's definitely a very specific style and you need a lot of specific decor and furniture to pull it off and honestly I hope I did. Um, I feel like I had a lot of fun with books and plants in this build because that's definitely, at least the book thing is definitely a thing with Dark Academia style. Um, the plants maybe is a more of a me style but I think it looks really nice and it adds this nice like pop of green to every room because I did go for a very very dark black and dark brown like color scheme in here so there's not really any a lot of like whites or anything else so yeah it definitely did help break that up and I've just been in this in complete plant obsession I don't know if any of you guys out there are like this where you've started buying house plants and it's just yeah turned into this like addiction because that's kind of happening to me right now and it's a little bit concerning because we don't live in a super big apartment so yeah I have to be careful about which plants I get and like the size of plants I get because yeah we're gonna run out of space really fast with the rate at which I've been buying these plants like I just went and got my first philodendron the other day which I don't know why I've had such trouble in the last couple of months finding philodendrons uh, but I finally got a Birkin which is one that's been on my like wish list for a very long time. I got myself another Pothos as well which I love Pothos and I have a couple that I would like and then I just went and bought um, another philodendron from a new plant shop that I've never tried before as well as a little Hoya rope which is a really cool plant if you've never heard of it or seen it I definitely recommend like googling it it's really interesting and I have no Hoya either so yeah I'm just super super excited to get those plants and I definitely need to take a little bit of a break from buying plants but yeah now that we've gone on that little plant tangent uh this build is three bedroom and three bathroom and then we have also this little laundry room pantry off the entryway of the build so there's the parents bedroom there's a teenager's bedroom and there's a little nursery and then there's also an office so it's a pretty large apartment all things considered I feel like I usually don't build apartments with this many bedrooms and bathrooms but this one was definitely a bigger one and I struggled a lot with the floor plan of this one as well I remember I had to redo it like five times because it was just not looking right and then because this apartment has the tallest wall height which I always hate <laughs> um I really really don't like the tallest wall height I did add platforms to this build so it shouldn't make it crazy more difficult to like download and use this build um I think just the very entrance of the apartment, the sunken down bit, is a separate room and then everything else should be okay. I've definitely made builds like apartments with platforms that are way more complicated to download in place. So I guess if you guys have never done that before I can briefly explain how that works. So either the gallery or my tray files I will have all of the rooms split up because you can't just upload an apartment to the gallery which is an update I really hope ends up happening one day because it's so frustrating and annoying to upload them um, unless it's like a penthouse because that uploads like a regular build but otherwise you have to upload them by rooms so I always add like a graphic like that tells you where to place them all by number so that's always on my Patreon which is going to be linked in the description below so that you can place it a little bit more easily. Sometimes you can just figure it out if you like know where the windows go and stuff but yeah it just makes it a little bit easier to place the room. Yeah I, I really wish that now that you know they've done the window update that they could also update that maybe they're not going to but yeah so and also yeah the windows 
will update now I believe but the front door which I have replaced using the tool mod if you want to replace the door you will have to download the tool mod by twist and mexi um and it's really easy to replace a door all you do is you just delete the existing one using the mod and then you just place a new one you can find tutorials and stuff on youtube that will show you how to do that i think um yeah i can't i'll try and link one down below actually if that makes it a little bit easier to find but yeah so that, now we're into the bedrooms, uh, or one of the bedrooms. This is the teenager's bedroom. I had a lot of fun cluttering this one up. Initially, I wanted this entire build to be just full of clutter, and I feel like I did not clutter it to the extent I wanted, mostly because I was running out of time to get this one done. Like, I think, yeah, as of recording this voiceover, I have just finished the build, like, two minutes before, and I... I'm gonna upload it like two days from now so yeah it's a little bit tight this time around uh, I think it's just because I had a crazy crazy busy work week this week and I just did not have time to maybe not time necessarily but energy or the want to like build in my free time this week and on the weekend either as much because we also had a really busy well at least one day last weekend was like extremely busy I we did like a bunch of shopping and then I had to repot a bunch of plants and make dinner and like do all this stuff so it was a very like involved day and I just had like maybe an hour or two to work on this build and it is a fairly big build like I said so yeah I just I think next time around I have to build a bit smaller and just restrain myself because yeah it definitely took a lot longer than it needed to take. So this is the parents' bedroom. It's quite a big bedroom. Again, it was just this build and the floor plan. It's still not completely to my liking. I think it's just because the apartment itself is so big. So a lot of the rooms ended up a little bit bigger than I would have liked. Like the bathrooms, for example, are all bigger than I would have liked. But I could not find a way to make them smaller like to make the existing rooms any smaller than they were so yeah i added this like fake fireplace from pierre sim i believe um i'm not sure which set actually i'm not sure which set that comes from but as always all the cc will be linked in the description as well so if you're gonna download this you can even just like look through the list and see if you can find the set that that fireplace comes comes from because yeah I right now I cannot remember um but I like that one because it comes with these books that you can just like pop in there so it's kind of fun especially for a book like for a book I'm sorry for a build like this one that is just filled with books because I don't know if that's like stereotypical of this style but if it's not I just imagine these sims to be like the ultimate bookworms and I know I've had, I think, one comment on a different video that was commenting on, like, the books in the bathroom. And I know that's not, like, <laughs> realistically that would not work because they're gonna get all moldy and sad. But this is The Sims and I always do it because I think it's kind of fun. So <laughs> we're on to the final room already. Thank you guys so much for watching to this point. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you want to support the channel. You can also subscribe to my Patreon or just follow it for free. I really, really appreciate it so much. You'll find the CC links and the trade files there. And this build will also be on the gallery at Lindsay Builds. Thank you guys. Bye.